here we've got uh, Sohan. How are you doing, Sohan? I'm very good, thank you. Nice to be here. Okay, sorry. You've got Bangra Tots in the background there. Is that is that a permanent display? Uh, yeah, usually it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, tell us all about Bangra Tots. Bangra, um, Bangra Tots was something that we started about uh, 10 years ago, I think, and uh, I really wanted to uh, brand out and um, promote Bangra for early years, especially children and families. It takes children on a journey across uh, across the world, um, across to India, teaches about Bangra dance what Bangra dancing is. It's a healthy farming dance, so all the movements are all about digging the soil, planting the seeds, putting out the vegetables, and, uh, yeah. putting out the and celebrating. Because, because we've, seen, <laughs> we've seen you in all your glory, haven't we? Yeah, that's right. We, um, I perform Bangra Tots in schools, um, in nurseries, in libraries, in community places all over the country. Um, festivals and parents really enjoy it. the kids really enjoy it, it brings um, the family together yeah early years yeah, yeah I mean, you, you, you loved it you loved it didn't oh, you I did, I did and you know we got we went home after we'd we'd met you and uh, me and Charlie we were both in the living room and we were doing screw the light bulbs and all of that uh, <laughs> well that's the thing I mean you know it's 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 there for family to take away with them um, especially now um, I um Sort of advanced with work and an entertainment show now, Bangra Tots. Before I used to go into a school or a nursery and just present um, a mini workshop. But then throughout the years, I thought, I've got to turn this into a show that families can come and watch and enjoy and keep it interactive, fun, where children get to dance with their grown ups and vice versa. Because sometimes you don't get that. Uh, the amount of parents that said, Oh, you know, so I can't remember the last time I danced with my little one. Um, and especially dads as well. So, oh, you know, I'm so busy at work and when I come home, I'm retired, you know. But the Bangor Trust, I think, it's opened the doors for people. They can take the activity home with them. And now, because of the album as well, they can take the album around with them everywhere and play the music in the car and dance along. Brilliant. And, and how, how did you come up with the, the idea of uh, Bangor? Has it been going for a while? Well, Bangor music and dance, uh, Darren, has been going around for, well, in here in the UK. Uh, 40, 50 years, Bangra music and dance has been has been very prominent, uh, more traditionally, I would say. But with, with Bangra Tots here, the branding, I've really wanted to make um, and and sort of promote it that way. Um, I, I, you know, it's been around for a long, long time, uh, but now um, I think it's everybody's hearing about it more and more. Um, it's more accessible. Uh, I think the way I've developed it, uh, especially the Tots class and the family class, uh, kept it very mixed so that people of all cultures can come and enjoy uh, the Bangra and music and keep it very lighthearted as well. Um, so it's, it's it's accessible everywhere, yeah, definitely. And, and, and do you write your own music? Do you write all the songs yourself, do you? Yeah, oh, well, on the, on the day when we, we met and um, when you came down and we had a, such a fantastic time um, at the children's uh, the school there, um, the, the music um, that you heard was from my latest album. So we wrote that ourselves and we produced it uh, by a music producer in Wolverhampton called PKC the first. Uh, Pavan Chand is a great, great music producer. He's wonderful uh, because he works a lot with children, a lot, like myself, mm -hmm. family. So he really understood the concept of working with children and school. So he knew exactly what I wanted. Um, and so what we've done is, uh, Darren, would you believe that, um, God, would you believe, I went into the studio with one con uh, concept of having one song. And then at, at the end, end of the year, we, we um, ended up with a seven track album. Fantastic. And we, have a, and we have actually, I've downloaded it. I've got it on Apple oh, Music. Yeah, I've, got, yeah. I've got it on my phone. It goes on in the car and we're, we're there. Oh, we're oh, we're Bangra dancing away. Oh, <laughs> good on you, good on you. Well, the, the album itself is there because, I mean, there's Bangra music on there. There's Bollywood, there's songs about dinosaurs. The Bangra Pirates, me hearties. That's another show that I do, I, I do and produce. Um, there's a song, the, the title track called Let's Narch. It's a very uh, Latin um, influenced track, reggaeton beats. Again, family orientated. Um, the lyrics are very basic. Families, let's go to the beach. Let's dance on, on, on the beach. Um, um, let's go out to the sea. Let's so all we'll have a great time. Uh, and similar with the Bangra Rave song as well. Wave, wave, wave your 
your hands, banger in the fields, let's all dance, uh, move the chicken <laughs> down the way, let's all come out to play, you know, and, and the kids are singing, singing along with it, and parents too. Um, the movements and the lyrics go hand in hand, dig, dig, dig the soil. Um, oh, yeah, plant, oh, plant, I remember that part. Grow, grow, grow the veg, and let me see you do it all again. So it's got yeah. that. that <laughs> I'm from Wolverhampton, born and bred. I wanted that sort of local music, local influence, but also with a with a regional and also an international feel to it as well. Yeah, no. oh, it comes across. <laughs> it comes across really well. And I tell you, it, there, there, I don't think there'd be many people that could come to one of your classes and not join not in. Enjoy, yeah, and, and not, not enjoy, and not enjoy it because oh. the the mu- oh, I think it's you. you you are you get people involved and you get people wanting to you make it fun and you make it fun for the kids and for the adults because there's some adults that are, are embarrassed to dance and things but when you're with mm-hmm. your kids i mean he's a proper dad dancer but even he, <laughs> so it's sort of i think the you the music and and the atmosphere you create it, it's fantastic so Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, this is obviously years and years of hard work and practice and and learning from the audience because sometimes you think, oh, what's working, what's not working? And you get to read the audience and again, performing a lot of festivals around the UK, uh, not just within the West Midlands, but all over London, Bristol, Manchester, Liverpool, whatever, whatever we travel, diverse audiences um, and making the music accessible. Uh, do them because uh, sometimes there are people out there who, who haven't heard of Bangra, or there are people out there who haven't uh, accessed the music before. Uh, but when it's presented in a way that's very lighthearted, very fun and friendly, I think you can reach out to everybody and all hearts. And I think that's the great thing. It's the feel good factor of reaching out to everybody. Fair enough, not everybody wants to dance, not everybody likes music. Um, but I think with um, with with um, the, the happiness and giving it a little bit of a gimmicky feel as well. Uh, to reach out for especially in these these in this climate at the moment, we need yeah, absolutely. We need to reach out to communities. We need to build that hand of friendship and cross that bridge with music and dance, and that's what it does positive things because you know a lot of people say to me like we like your Bangor Road song we're going to go for the Ali Gobi now we're going to go down to the Curry House and have an Ali Gobi and I think that's fantastic <laughs> yeah, good on you yeah this is fantastic <laughs> It's brilliant because when you see people bang or dancing normally, you think, "Blimey, that must be so hard to do." But how you do the song, you make it quite easy to do, don't you? Yeah, well, it's it's easy with the song and the storytelling because you just think about what the farmers do. You know, they dig the soil, plant the seeds, collect the weeds, then celebrate. Um, <laughs> you know, pulling out the dogs, the harvesting movement. So yeah, and I think making it fun um, and also breaking down the movement, especially for children. And, and growing up too, sometimes they, they want to do it very, very slowly. But then again, you get some who, who get the news very, very quickly, so you've got to be ready for them as well. I think that well, um, and really celebrating. So I think um, that's what Bangor Trust was all about. So the album then came about, all right, let's, let's, let's take the next step. We've got to do our own music. Um, yeah. And so, you know, the Let's Now Hatch album. Brilliant. <laughs> people you're on you're on uh, itunes you're on spotify aren't you? you're on all the big uh, channels yeah. they just type in sohan kaylee with your name there on the screen uh, and yeah, it comes sure. up doesn't it it will come up on itunes and amazon like as you said apple music uh, deezer and spotify and google play you know i'm, I'm also you know i'm i'm old school i i, I want to see my cd in hmv and things like this yeah, but I, think yeah, yeah. Going, I, don't, I think the way forward is online and it's, it's a new new era for music i suppose so but it, it's widely available and i've heard from uh, the people who put it online that it's available worldwide i did a google search and like japan i've got it as well so Oh, yes. oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. We'll, definitely, uh, we'll definitely play a blast of a Bangra rave on the show. Definitely, we'll definitely do that. Oh, and if people want to find out more, your, 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 your website address is it www.ash. Well, you'd be your best to say it, actually. Yeah, it's www.ashianaarts.com. Or you can find me on Twitter, which is at Sohan Kaylee. Uh, and same thing with inst- Instagram, Sohan Kaylee. So... Check it out, check out the music, uh, dance along, have a great time. 
Have fun. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So, Anne, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>